everybody hope you're all doing well this weekend I thought I would share with you another video um, playing in my creative no nope. <laughs> dilutions the classics journal there's so many different ones it's hard to keep all the names right so here I am using um, one of the new colors in the shimmer sprays balmy night and I'm spraying it on a circle gel plate. Now Ranger and Gel Press got together and created a set of gel plates and it has a long rectangle and a smaller one and then this circle one. So this is the circle from that set. So yes my finger gets very dirty and very inky doing this. You could wear gloves or use something else to swish the paint around but I just used my finger because well it was handy <laughs> so I'm just creating some circles on the background and this color I haven't used too many sprays this may be the first time actually no second time because I tried the um, desert sand shimmer spray on black as well and it is gorgeous it looks like gold it doesn't look like a sandy tan color at all it is this beautiful gold so I've done that and the balmy night turns out really great on black as well so I'm assuming that all the other ones probably do as well I'll have to play with it some more so here I'm just trying to define the edge of the circles a little bit more. To me they almost look like little planets. They look pretty cool. And as you can tell by my tapping fingers I had no plans for this page. I was just playing and seeing what I came up with. I was trying to use Diane's new release stuff. Here I'm just circling around the circles with a Dina Wakely scribble stick. I just got my first <laughs> set of scribble sticks um, last week. Yeah, all this time and I'm just now getting a set of scribble sticks. I had sworn I wasn't going to get any because I had the Neo Color crayons and I hardly use them, so I didn't think I need scribble sticks. So I ended up getting some, and I don't know how I feel yet. I haven't played with them a whole lot, so I'm not, I'm trying not to judge them yet because I need some more play time. But right now, I'm, I'm not getting it. <laughs> So I definitely need more practice. So I came up with a quote and I just, it, <laughs> you may think it's weird. I'm sure it is weird, but I wanted something that kind of fit with the picture and yet it kind of had a Christmassy thing too. So <laughs> I said, I decked the halls with some fur balls just for you. So, you know, deck the halls with boughs of holly. And it's a cat, so he decked the halls with fur balls. Trying to be sweet, but, you know. <laughs> so that's my corny quote for my page. And I just, the, actually all the collage images are from Diane's new collage sheets, the Christmas set. I just put the pieces together to look like a full cat. I'm using a white Posca paint pen to do my quote. I do have some um, Dilutions paint pens coming because I thought it would be nice to have some in her colors. So I'm not sure when they'll get here, but that could be fun. Hopefully I can use them and not wreck them. I 
I had a hard time knowing what to do with this page because it was like I wanted to add more but I didn't want to like cover the circles. Oh and I thought <laughs> I was recording but I wasn't. I went over, I did the same technique with the shimmer sprays and the gel plate, the circle gel plate, and I used, I want to say post box red, but I'm going to double check. Good thing I double checked. It's actually fiery sunset. I don't even think she has the shimmer sprays in post box, post box red yet. Adding more white lines with the doodle border. I just love white against the black cardstock. It looks really good on the craft as well. I'm doing that whole checkered, you know, thing that I like to do with the border. One of my favorite things to do when doing collage. So I decided to go in with some wavy lines in the background. So I'm just using the long dilutions ruler. Like she has this ruler in two, two sizes and this is the bigger one. And I tried to keep it like somewhat in the same spot so the lines would be more parallel with each other but I may be off a little bit but I wasn't too worried but I did try to somewhat stay in that line. And if I had it back, I would not have gone over the letters. Like I would have left, I just would have had the line go up to where the quote was and not go through it. I decided to thicken the letters in my quote and I'm using, it's actually a chalk marker and they're new to me but I thought I would try it because they were a good price, so much cheaper than Posca paint pens and I haven't had luck trying to find other types of um, paint pens that come in really nice colors but also work well. I bought this one set and they were awful like they never I never got to use them because they they just dried up so quickly. So I haven't had the best of luck so I thought I would try chalk markers because it did say that it was permanent on porous surfaces. So I thought, well, that's great because I want it to be. <laughs> so I've been using them for a little bit and so far it's okay. I haven't noticed it coming off on the other, like the opposite page or anything. So I decided to go in every other line and put these circles in that are on the ruler. I didn't do every line because I didn't want too, too busy. And if you hear meowing, that's my cat, not yours, so don't worry. <laughs> oh my. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's being a little bit dramatic. I think 
that's all I do at the background. Off to the right, you'll see all those stamped images. Those are just um, when I got my new Dilutions Christmas stamp sets. I wanted to play with them, but I didn't have anything in particular in mind, so I stamped every image out. And some of the smaller pieces, like the hexagons and the leaves and stuff, I printed out more than once. So I had some that I could like audition, like, you know, when you're playing with something, kind of try out pieces to see how you want it to go together. So I just stamped out a bunch. So I had some ready to go. So as you can see, I colored the circles in with a red Posca paint pen. And now I'm doing some dash lines on every, above every single line. I believe my intent first was just to do the lines that didn't have the circles in them and I goofed so then I just went with every single line. <laughs> Make it look like you me meant it. And that's a yellow Posca paint pen. I kind of regretted actually filling that part in yellow. I liked it better just black and white. I mean, I could go over it again with a black paint pen, but I'm not going to bother. And I wanted the quote to stand out a little bit more, so I'm just adding some black to the left and bottom like I usually do with a white when I'm doing lettering but this time it's reversed <laughs> and I do think it gives the letters a little bit more dimension And I'm outlining my collage pieces. I don't think I always used to do this, but I really find it makes the images pop more when I do. So I have gotten into the habit of going around them lately. I was afraid I was going to wreck the cat by doing this, but I actually like it more having gone in with the paint pen to define the eyes and the nose. I think it's because it's collage you can get away with doing something like that. It's like if it looks a little off it's okay because it's collage and it's supposed to be quirky and silly. It's one great thing about collage, it's very forgiving. I think so, anyway. So that is pretty much it for this spread. So I'm going to go and check on my cat and see if he's dying. <laughs> and give him some love. Maybe it'll make him happy for a little bit. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.
Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.